So volume is always helpful, right? And the more you can order, you tend to see breaks with whether it be with your suppliers or you know if you're shipping a lot more cases, it's going to be less expensive. But Understood. when that isn't an option, then being as smart about it as you can is the flip side and really diving into how much inventory do I actually need to get me through this next period of time. So looking at your purchasing, looking at your planning and saying, okay, I know I have you know 10 cases of this product mm -hmm. sold. That's all I'm going to bring in. Hey guys, this is Sid Patel, CEO of Beverage Trade Network and USA Trade Tasting. I'm live here, day two Chicago. We are here with one of our sponsors, US Wine Transport, and I have Kaylin with me. Great supporters, great partners to have. We're gonna talk about the state of logistics, right? Like fuel costs also, to be honest, has yeah. gone up. Interest rates have gone up. I think that is again uh, something which uh, a lot of companies are paying attention to. So we're going to talk about how we can save money. What are they seeing? And I think we, just, we were just chatting about you know just-in-time inventory sort of models, right? So Kaylin, uh, why don't you introduce uh, what you guys do, and then we can dive into that. Absolutely. So um, U.S. Wine Transport is primarily a logistics company. Mm -hmm. We do consolidation and transportation from the whole West Coast. Um, all the way back to the East Coast and off the Eastern Seaboard back West. Mm -hmm. We really specialize in working with wholesalers and distributors that are that have high-end books and they are focused on that just-in-time inventory piece because it is so expensive to hold on to inventory. Okay. So everything we do is over the road and refrigerated. We have a really consistent order cycle which allows for that. You know when your delivery is coming so you can really plan on only bringing in what you already have sold. Um, and that's that's really helpful, especially as you know inventory costs rise, and also balancing never wanting to be out of stock for a key account because. So to understand, yeah. your customer ideally is a wholesaler. Yes. Uh, any states in U.S. you can sign up? We yeah we go almost everywhere. Um, we connect coast to coast, and so most places in between we have good access to. Uh, I think our map technically is at about 39 states at this point, and if we don't go somewhere directly, we're always happy to make a referral. And, and that is more of a trucking, right? When you say pick up and drop, or yes. you also uh, provide in all the states a third-party logistical solution. So it's primarily a trucking resource. Um, so everything from picking up from individual wineries or warehouses, importers, um, whether that be northern Washington to southern California or throughout the eastern seaboard, and then delivering to your final mile warehouse. I've heard the stories that bad planning is the biggest way to waste money in logistics. Like yeah. you end up giving order and I need this tomorrow and you'll say rush mm. order yep. and then this is what it is, right? Uh, what are other ways you, you've seen some smart companies save money on logistics? So volume is always helpful, right? And the more you can order, you tend to see breaks with whether it be with your suppliers or you know if you're shipping a lot more cases, it's going to be less expensive. Understood. But when that isn't an option, then being as smart about it as you can is the flip side and really diving into how much inventory do I actually need to get me through this next period of time. So looking at your purchasing, looking at your planning and saying, okay, I know I have you know 10 cases of this product mm -hmm. sold, that's all I'm going to bring in. And of course, you have to be able to trust your partner that it's gonna show up on time to mm -hmm. do that. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, doing that dive and putting together really thoughtful plans of, okay, you know, maybe I don't need a full layer, maybe I only need seven cases mm -hmm. or five cases um, that that can be helpful too mm -hmm. uh, I mean we spoke about interest rates going up and mm -hmm. inventory is uh, you know if, if you've loan against inventory for example th yeah. those kind of numbers are hitting right have you seen uh, more more frequent orders and less of a bigger size absolutely most of our customers as inventory costs have risen really do focus on that they try and hold as little as possible on their books Okay. Um, just because you know interest rates are rising and keeping it on your floor if you don't have it sold that's that's an expensive talk to, clock to uh, ticking. What about like from East Coast to West Coast is the biggest thing right let's mm -hmm. say the main for the, our drinks industry we've seen California Napa area pick up to New York let's yep. say you know uh, what are some good ways to uh, get a good deal? You know, again, being thoughtful about what you want to bring in and how quickly you want it to happen is great. Um, okay. Being able to put together your orders, and with us, it, we are happy to pick up from anywhere. A lot of other companies surcharge if it's not coming out of Napa or that home base. Um, so being able to order exactly what you need and know that it's going to show up on time, 
you know, you also, you lose days in transit. Uh, most distributors, their payment clock starts as soon as the product is picked up. I so see. knowing that it's going to move over the road versus on the rail where it's going to happen a little bit faster. Are there like deals where, let's say if I was a producer or an importer yeah. and I say, all right, here's my pallet, mm -hmm. you know, when you have a truck coming in the next 10 days, you can send it so I can get a better price. Are there options like that? You know, it depends a little bit. Um, we do some spot pricing kind of things on an as-needed basis, right? Okay. If it's just truly a one-off and it happens to fit right in, we're always happy to look at, hey, yep, we actually had a truck that was going to go a little light and mm -hmm. we'll put it on there and make that happen. Um, we really do our best to keep our pricing as consistent as possible because mm -hmm. we don't want our customers having to change their price on the shelf because retailers it. are not necessarily very open to those changes. Um, when they happen on the fly in restaurants either they just don't have that flexibility but there are always there are always ways to fine-tune a little bit on optimizing you know as you said full container loads are the yeah. best one for example but let's let's break it down right how many pallets how many cases on a pallet if it's a 12 pack 750 yeah. ml you know what is the most effective way to bring to the it. load so Typically, we build our load, so a truck to be legal has to be under 80,000 pounds okay. gross. That includes the truck and the trailer and everything. So we say we can build about 43,750 pounds, which 21, 22 pallets if it's 56 blocks Understood. and 12 750s. Got it. Yeah. And, and that is what, like 60 cases usually on a pallet and two layers? Usually 56 uh, cases on a pallet is the standard. Sometimes it's 60, you know, we see so many different wineries now being economical or trying to be more uh, earth friendly and using thinner glass and that kind of thing. So the weight of the case really matters. Okay, so the um, pricing is based a lot on the weight so if you're looking at a full load and trying to price it out per case, yes, if you can fit 1,300 cases on the load because the cases are so, light. So basically what I'm saying is if I had 1,300 cases mm -hmm. of something, sorry, let's say 1,100 cases of 78,000 mm -hmm. pounds and 1,200 cases of 60,000 mm pounds, -hmm. you know, uh, what, which is cheaper? So if you have a full load, right, where the pricing is just going to be a one pick, one drop, load. The more cases that you can get in, the better your rate per case is going to be. And if one is lighter bottle, does it get a you, price break? You just get more cases onto the truck. Oh, because you're allowed for because, that capacity. Yes, because Understood the capacity now. holds it. Understood. Cool. Nice. Yeah. Interesting to know. Uh, yeah. Anything else? Uh, any any uh, move? Any suggestions you have on where the logistics or where the fuel, where, you know, what to plan in there? You know, fuel is what it is and we are all a little bit subject to those whims. Um, we, we've always used the National Department of Energy National Survey for fuel and it's it's holding between 35 and 37 percent is what we're seeing. Um, so it's unfortunately that's not a great place for savings, but I don't think it's going to change a whole lot Got for the it. end of the year. Um, so looking at that as kind of a fixed cost and then trying to optimize everywhere else, whether it be, you know, hitting a volume bracket that allows for your transportation costs to come down and or the flip side of that ordering as lean as possible because you know it's going to show up in time and keeping your inventory costs in check. Great. Where can people find you? You know, uh, website? Yeah, uswinetransport.com is where we are. It has all of our contact information and, and we're happy to help with whatever you need.